In this video we are going to be building the top segment markup from the node. We will prepare the fields and the display, we will create the image style and we will override the node template. So let's jump to our project and we already have our top segment uh, with the logo area and the main menu and we have the footer here already implemented. We also side build the content type basic page with some fields and we build it also the paragraph types that we're going to be implementing so let's jump to our content page and let's create actually the initial version of the front page That's great. So as we save, we will have a initial version of our front page. It basically looks pretty bad, but that's something that we will quickly fix. So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually compare a bit with our static version. So let's go ahead and open the static version and our plan is actually to move the whole image like this with the parallax effect and implement this as the title this as the uh, subtitle and the action link let's first order a bit the edit page like this, we have the title, we have the image and we have the action link. It would be a bit nicer if we have the subtitle right under the title. So in order to do that, we go to structure and we go to content types, basic page, and we say manage form display. And here what we want to do is we want to just move the subtitle up under the title. Then we have the image right after it. And we have the action link after the image. That's great. And the sections, they look pretty bad now. And let's switch to the Paragraphs Classic view. So let's refresh this page and we'll see that we have the title, we have the subtitle. And these Paragraphs uh, Classics looks a bit nicer so that you could select which paragraph you want to add and as you click you're adding it. But this we'll check a bit later. Now what we want to do is we want to check which template is being used so we click inspect and we may see here that currently it's using the node HTML template but we want to use the node page foo and we can copy it from the core teams table templates content node Let's go ahead and do that quickly. And the next thing we want to do is we want to actually uh, and check what we have inside of this template and clean a bit. On page four, we can just go ahead and first switch to HTML, and we can say we don't need the title prefix. We don't need these bits here. We don't need a footer. We just need this. We need the label. Almost like this. And we want to save it and we also would like to load the static version of each inside of Sublime. 
and we would like to open the node here and basically we want to start browsing and checking what's to change so what we want to implement is basically the index banner and from the index banner we just want to copy the whole text Basically, the label is our title. If we check here the structure and the content types and here the subtitle, it's field subtitle. So we can just go ahead here and say content field subtitle and this bit will be a bit tricky with the link we can just go ahead for now and say action link it would not look exactly like that I'm quite sure because it would not have the button large waist effect and all the other stuff, but yes. Content. We'll try something actually. And for the image, we would basically have the image. As we save and as we clear the cache, let's go ahead and refresh, and it should look a bit nicer. Yes, we have the work welcome to our wonderful page already kind of styled. Uh, as you see from here, it has some additional markup, but that's fine, we can override that. Here, row center, there is the subtitle. It's here. Okay, so what we what we want to do is we want to prepare now a bit the markup. So let's go ahead and check what for sizes has this image here. It's actually with the sizes of thousand four hundred forty. 743 so now we can just implement uh, an image style let's go to configuration image styles and let's add times 743 I guess 43 exactly and we create the new style and we add scale and crop for the first version it would be fine and what we want to do now is we want to go to structure and content types and we want to go to manage display
Uh, and here for an image we don't want a label and we want to say to link it to nothing and to have the just created image style action link we also don't want so update and the subtitle we also don't need a label and we want it as a plain text that's all fine so let's go back to our front page the few template because it's adding always this wrapper around the fields and we actually don't need those wrappers so let's see from where it comes it comes from course table let's go ahead and copy it Now it should look a bit better, yes, we already have the image, it's actually having also some effect, which is great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to fine tune even more, so if we inspect as we compare a bit we see that the H1 is not perfect because the H1 has its own title let's go ahead and overwrite it wonderful and the next thing we see is that basically we're not having ID and those classes inside of our A link. So, what we want to do is we want to try to actually add classes. Let's go ahead and try with Kint. To see what we have there. Oh, that's interesting. So we have actually the title 
and we have objects, items, What if we say zero title, zero That actually works. So let's go ahead and implement the title here and the URL here inside. And if we clear the cache. Check the best deals here. It was the link, exactly. Only best deals in our website. This looks already fine. and it already looks pretty good uh, what we want to do is we want to get rid of these uh, two blocks here at the top so we we'll quickly go to structure and block layout and we may remove for now the page title because we have the page title go ahead and just remove it and we can remove also the primary admin actions oh, yeah. oh, and the tabs, I guess. Let's back to the page and see what's this. It's part of the breadcrumbs. Let's go ahead and get rid of the best. The, let's go ahead and get rid of the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Let's remove those. And as we go back, it actually looks pretty good. Currently, we see this only because we are admins. If we are not locked in, we would actually not see those there. Wonderful. So our web page is starting to look actually like the static version. In the next video, we'll continue with the paragraphs. If you like this video, please check the links in the description. Uh, like this video and subscribe if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below thank you